Right now, though, Debbie is back in the Harvey Norman Lounge with some hidden travel gems. Morning, Debbie. Morning. So we're staying in New Zealand this week? Yeah, we are. Well, still heaps of summer. So I thought what I'd do is I'd take you around a few of the hidden gems that I've come across in my travels. Mm. So first of all, in the Hauraki district. Now, have you heard of Karangahaki Gorge? Yes, I've been through there. They've got that rail trail. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to tell you about the rail trail in a few weeks, so Ooh. wait for that one. Nice tease. Yeah. <laughs> but in the north of the gorge, just on the outskirts there, there's a really cool farm park called Bull. Wool, a great place for the kids. So you go in there, you grab your food for the animals, go out the back to the courtyard, there are some miniature horses that love to be brushed and fed. There's also a rabbit pen with George, the Flemish giant rabbit. He is too cute, he is so cute. And they're also friendly and great for the kids as well. So you can see, isn't he adorable? How, but they're massive, aren't they? Flemish giants are, I th I'm sure, the biggest. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty big. So then out the back, up the hillside, there are more animals. There's chickens, there's emus, there's donkeys. Donkeys are Monty and Rosie. And there are actually spotty sheep. I hadn't seen sheep like this. There they are. That's, yeah, that's not an actual breed. It's just a genetic mutation. Whoa, well, that's yeah. really interesting. So what else is there for to do for the kids at Bulls Wool Farm? But bulls don't have, yeah, they don't have bulls. <laughs> I was going to think about that one for a moment. Good yes, point, yeah. yeah. Well, there's heaps, as you can see, there's heaps of, uh, like, the pirate ship, there's the go-karts for the kids, heaps more animals to feed, and the helicopter at the top, and take a picnic, because the view from the top is absolutely spectacular, looking out to the Hauraki district, it's wow. beautiful. So that's just south of Pairoa? Yeah, that's right, about 10 minutes drive from Pairoa, and then you go off the main state highway, up, and the road gets quite gravelly, but you will get there, and, uh, yeah, bulls will farm Okay, park. that sounds good for the young families. What about a hidden gem in the South Island? Ah, now I've got a good one. I think found in central Otago when I was down there. So the Bannockburn Hotel and Restaurant has this amazing view. So much history there, you'll really love it. It has this view looking out over the Kawaro River and the mountains beyond. So it's a really great place to enjoy the local central Otago wines, of course. Now this pub had the first liquor licence in central Otago. It dates back to the gold rush of the 1860s. So gorgeous homemade food, really full of flavour, full of local produce as oh, well. Wow. Did you stay in the hotel? Uh, now, it's actually a historic name. So there's been no accommodation there since the 1990s. But the owner told me they're working on it, so watch this space. <laughs> That'll be cool. Yeah, in the meantime, just enjoy the lunches there. It's a great place for live music they have sometimes. Check out their Facebook page and a kid's playground out the back as well. So, yeah. You can go and do it all there. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Right, then what about for something for us, of those of us who want to get back to nature? Ah, OK. You have to discover New Zealand's dinosaur forest. Have you heard of Fidanaki Forest? Yes. Good, good. Cause I've heard of it, never been there though. Yeah, well, not a yeah. lot of people have heard of it, so I'm glad you have. You have to go there now. That's your next thing. So this is just southeast of Rotorua. These are massive Totara, Rimu, uh, Matai, Kahikatea. Now, these trees, some of them estimated to be a 1,000 years old. That's wow. why it's called the dinosaur forest. They stand 60 metres high, estimated to stand. Wow. That, let me put that in perspective. Tane Mahuta in Northland, 51 metres. Wow. So these trees are huge. You'll literally walk through like this with your mouth open. It's amazing. Sounds incredible. So how do you actually get there? Uh, well, we got picked up from Rotorua. We got picked up by Tom from Forest Eco Tours. He took us out there. Tom's really passionate about conservation and sustainability, and he's working really hard on pest control in the area as well. So really amazing bird life because of all the work that they're doing there. Uh, we heard some endangered kaka, which was a real treat. And uh, Forest Eco Tours also runs rafting on wow. the Rangatake, Rangataiki River. You start in the forest, you're learning about all the environment, and then you see it from a whole other perspective from the river itself. So it's a grade two, three, and four. So it would pay to check with them on whether it suits your level of fitness and the age of your children as well. Oh, that looks incredible. So it's like, and look at this beautiful forest on our left. Oh, and there's a rabbit right there. Yeah, absolutely. You get the best of both worlds, don't you? You see the nature, you get immersed in the nature, and you have this really fun adventure at the nature same time. Nature for the adrenaline junkies. Yeah. That sounds like so much fun. Thank you, Debbie. Great travel tips as always.